Anyway, so apparently we got sparkling boots. Was it check your equipment or something? Well, no, we don't have it. Okay. Maybe you have to pick them oh. up from a mailbox. Inventory's or... last tab. Add on sparkly boots. Oh, does it make step effects? Oh, okay, you just get little stars behind you. Sure. I thought these would actually be like something I could get equip. Oh, nope. it looks like oh it's that's an unfortunate. Effect. Well, either way, now we are sparkle. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to go to a new area. I don't think there's anything necessarily major that I can do yet. Oh, we wanted to go over and talk to this person. Yep, for another quest. Break some things. Oh, and treasure. Ah! Huh? S sorry. I just had the most traumatic event ever. Seriously. I'm still shaking. Sh sorry. <laughs> You're still shaking too. I'm still shaking. Hi. Yeah? Hi. Again, sorry. I'm normally not so jumpy. I mean, you won't believe what happened. I was running on an off-road path here in Bergen Trail. Suddenly, this huge and vicious bunny creature attacks me from the side. I was so surprised, I just ran down here and collapsed. I mean, I heard there was a super strong monster in the mountains, but... I can't believe it. I still have to become much stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Hmm? You're right. I shouldn't be scared of some monster. It's just a game, right? I should find this thing and give it a good whacking. Hmm. Right, but how about you help me? You know. Ease into the action and all that jazz. Uh, I'll reward you too. Come on. The legendary bunny. Hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. I think we should start by asking my friends about that thing. Both of them are pretty smart and they always know stuff. One of them is a hexacast. Okay, so that's for the six-sided, yep. I suppose. And is in Rookie Harbor. Not sure exactly where he is, though. I remember him saying something about an inn he loves. The other is a tribe leader. He should be at the obelisk in Autumn's Rise. I'll send word to both of them via direct link so that they know that you're coming. Uh, sorry, I'm not a fan of this messaging. I like to handle things personally. While you talk to those guys, I'll talk to the people here. By the way, what's your name? I'm Jean. Leah. Hi. Is your speech module jammed or something? Kind of seems like it. Hmm. Ah, uh, I see. Must be hard using the direct link. I'll include this in my message to the guys. All right, Leah. Let's begin. Hmm. Time to go talk to people, maybe. Okay, so how do we get to that loot? Doors open. Back and I mean, that big of a deal? Our neighbors straight up can't hear us. Let's see, do we have any other loot in this, this area? I'm like leery about going to the next area, uh, just because the last time, the last area was just like a little rough. Well, the next area is Autumn's Rise, right? Oh, hey, we can just straight up murder these things. Bunnies, we're currently fighting little bunnies. We are, I have forgotten how to play. There we go. Okay, there is more, there is more Wait, loot here. I take that back. Those bunnies are not cute. Small, fluffy fighting machines. Oh, there was actually dialogue. I thought you were just, like, reacting. I was like, I, okay. Yeah, sometimes they're the characters that you're venturing with have dialogue in the lower left. I I forget, because none of them are male. <laughs> well, I As guess... As of yet, there's, there's going no, to be I, some. No, I guess... Uh, sometimes Sergei says stuff. Yeah, Ser Sergei has most definitely said stuff, now that I'm thinking about it. Unfortunately, he says stuff while I'm, I actually have to focus on what I'm doing, which is annoying. All right, well... 
either way, we actually have to go talk to these guys. Uh, world map. Let's see, where's the inn? Info hub. The gut punch. It's probably gut punch. It's a tavern more than an inn. Eh, but it might also be an inn. I don't know. Well, taverns, inns. Pretty much thought. I've made a bit of a critical error. What's that? I've been listening to this soundtrack. Oh. A okay. lot. It's not a big deal, but uh You're fatigued by it? No, it's just slightly more noticeable. It's like, oh yeah, I remember this song. I've been listening to this song. I don't know if this is the inn that uh we were being told about. Info hub shop? Oh, this is like the Seeker Hub. It's Fall Divers. Oh, in. Whenever I imagine bunny monsters, I end up thinking of the small rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Just soaked in blood. Oh, yeah. Check my teeth. Have you ever seen the, um... Yeah, this is the place. Have you ever seen the, like, actual stuffed animal that they released for that thing? Actually horrifying. <laughs> it's like 50% mouth. Yeah. I got to use one for that man pageant I was in, and it was just like... Uh -huh. I effectively had to throw, like, a, a makeshift grenade at the thing. Uh, I know. And it I just, know. like... It was like... Imagine if the bunny's mouth went all the way, like, halfway into its torso. And, like... For a stuffed animal, like, give that to a child and they'll have nightmares. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a dude, isn't it? Good day, Leah. Hi. <laughs> Don't fash yourself, Queen. Jean told me a uh, this guy meow know how about to spell. you. I'm Jock. Uh... Shocker for you, eh? Or your speech module is broken. You switch lock, uh, careful lassie, nonetheless. Wait, is he Irish? I don't know. Or Scottish? I don't know. I or... can't tell. I can't do it, so I'm just going to make him sound crazy town. Because <laughs> he can do Say you want to ken something about the legendary bunny, eh? Uh, uh... All right. Hers with the I can. I heard you need to find some sort of rune capture device. You can feel to she not make... Harfoon <laughs> this device. <laughs> Isn't it like you can tell? You can tell teal, Jean so I might have fooned this <laughs> device, but she still needs something else. But I don't know can what it is. <laughs> uh, I will s I'll send the Jean all the details. You might find it mare when you gab to your tribe mucker. <laughs> oh boy! Uh oh. Okay, not a problem. That was. This is gonna get only worse. Somebody had fun with this one. The next person's gonna be even less understandable. I the thing just know is, it. I recognize some of those spellings as what yeah, they would Yeah, but use as a person who does not. who barely even understands, uh, like, thick Scottish accents, let alone, like, can replicate it. Yep. Hi. Sorry, kind of in the, in the middle of something here. Oh wait, you're that girl, Leah, right? Mm-hmm. Jean already told me you'd come. Sorry to get you involved, and I can't understand why she's not using the direct link. <sighs> yeah, anyway, this is about the bunny or whatever she saw, right? Mm-hmm. I do remember that you can summon some sort of legendary bunny by collecting five frosted carrots somewhere in the Bergen Trail. But there's another requirement, I can't remember what it was. Maybe our Hexacast friend Jock knows about it. Yep, that's all. Also, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Hi, Leah. Hi. Ah, there's the problem with the speech module Jean told me about. Ah. Uh. Eh, don't sweat it. I'll just DL Jean, uh, everything I told you. She should learn how to use the direct link system anyway. Okay, and now we go back up here. It is interesting how much we have to go fetch, but it also... It's a different kind of fetch than I'm used to. Hey, Leah. Hi, hi. I just heard back from the guys. I can't believe this. I told them not to DL me. Oh. Then I 
again. Your speech module is broken, so it's probably better this way. But on to business. So, from Jeff we know that we need five frosted carrots. And from Jock, we know that we need a capture device. And I found out from this that this creature seems to show up a lot on the windy is it is it windy or the windy, windy climb? climb? That's that's what I'm Yeah, I don't know. Climb parts of the Bergen Trail. Oh. Let's split the work. You go and collect the frosted carrots, and I'll try to get my hands on one of these capture devices. Hmm. We'll meet here once we're finished, alright? All the game find the ravenous bun bun. Huh? I... I'm just actually kind of still mad. You're still mad at... Uh, at the Pathfinder, the Pathfinder game. game? Yeah, like, usually, usually, like, when I switch games, I try and, like, kind of reset between. But it is, like, it is taking a lot of effort not to just be, like, kind of low-key mad about stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know. I, uh... I have trouble with games that I like, I really want to like, and then they they turn out to be like, not based upon lies, but that's, uh, you don't, you don't have an opinion on this at all, do you? Well, I mean, I actually didn't witness everything that was occurring firsthand, but all I could cipher, right. glean from, I remember I had that. from your l l lamentations coming from the computer screen, yeah. I... I did a melee move. Hmm? Right, keep going. I, I just thought it was bad RNG that you were discussing. Like, it was, just oh, overpowered hey. monsters. Uh, it's nothing compared to the Pentafist punch. I'm right, Leah? Hmm? Wait, what was that about? What was she... I, I don't know. We might, we might be able to check that. Okay. Oh, the bunnies have quite the kick. I sing. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I. Uh, I'm glad that they have unique dialogue for particular quests. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's a particular quest. I think she just says that about a couple of things, and then see. That's quite the view, Nun. Good thing there's no risk of falling to our death. Oh, here we go. I need something to help. Uh, someone to help again. Okay, there we go. Oh, he hello, Leah. Hi. Uh, we meet again. And it j just so happens that I have a, a new quest. Huh? Uh, wait, I, I mean, mean, I just finished up preparations again. Y yes, that's exactly what I meant. Hmm. Anyway, I know you helped me already, but how about doing it again? Hmm. R really? Very good. The tasks are the same as last time. I I want to gather some t data from Bergen Trail this time. Your help will make it much easier. Uh, I compiled a, a list again. Some enemy scouting, local flora, and the landmarks here. And of course a probe. I asked another player to place in a cave. Problem is that I don't know which one it is. I'm sorry, but it seems like you have to check all of them. I'd be honored if you would help me gather all the intel. Sob quests. So many gatherings. Ah! Please find out what you can and return to me. Hmm. Thank you so much for your help. A and in case you forgot what a pr probe looks like, it's the one next to me. Okay, so he pretty much is the purveyor of all fetch quests. Yeah, it's he's... a laser bridge. Laser bridge. Okay. <laughs> don't know why she was accentuating the whole laser bit. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why she's she's doing that either. I wonder if they're ever gonna actually show us the quote unquote real world. I mean, obviously, both of these worlds are. Uh... Well, is the real world Earth? Yes. Futuristic Earth. Or other planet. See, that's kind of what I want to know. Because I have no idea if it's... this is another planet that humans must have gotten to at some point. Yeah, so... 
humans got to another planet somehow. And, like, they've managed to get here, but, like, is it high-tech over on Earth? Is it, you know, just as, uh... Is it like this? Is there... Oh. Oh. Ow. Yeah, we're on a roll. I appreciate that they have all those commentaries, but it also does make it a little bit harder to have a conversation with you. Sorry. Because it does feel like you're just waiting for her to say something again. Sorry. Back to Michelle. Uh, I mean, I suppose they're not that important. She's just like, Mom, do you keep going? Yeah, they're cute. I'll give them that. Oh, lost it. I guess I don't actually need to keep that A rank unless we actually need, like, an item. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely wondering. Also, we haven't had an inkling oh, of... No. Oh, no. We haven't had an inkling as to how those people with avatars were able to leave the bounds of this of the world, the city. Yeah. Because they were actually capable of attacking like living personnel and real tangible ships. Oh, there we go. Um, That's the button for blocking. Flying seahorses shoot bubbles. Yeah, well, he was he was most definitely uh he was most definitely also made out of the same uh like pseudo digital was it instant matter? Yeah, whatever they use the avatars. Yeah. That's why they were so surprised. They're like, how is an avatar beyond the city and how did it reach us? What the it's like a mecha deer. Yeah, but, and but some like laser penguin. No, it's things? more like a mecha goat. Yeah, it's a, it's most definitely closer to a mecha goat. I was like, it. It has the the, the goat scruff. It just looked like it had like a snail butt or something for a second there. I mean, it's making buying noises. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right, I have the sound effects turned down really uh real real low. Somebody was complaining about that. And they are actually right about that. It is definitely lower than, uh... At the same time, I don't want to always have to hear a slash. Of no, so part of the reason why I always keep sound effects real low is because I don't like hearing them, actually. Sound effects are are repetitive, and the, unless it's, like, some kind of, like, pshoom noise when you do, like, a super move. Otherwise, it's just, like, smack, 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 smack. And it never... It doesn't feel good. Uh... You know, just hearing that noise over and over and over again. People uh, really also get bad at me when I... Um, oh, uh, your health is getting low. Yeah, just getting smacked around by a couple of odd penguins, penguins. here. Penguins. <laughs> um, but yeah, people get tend to get a little bit uh, grump lump at me if I turn off, like, uh, battle voices in games. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. That's, that's just battle because Battle voices can... Well, they're definitely disruptive for the kind of play that you would do. Wait, what about... I think it was mountains as a thing across worlds. Oh, okay. Well, at least they have some water around here. You don't need to go back and like. Look okay. Good. It's nice that there's. Well, a you're whole... you're the problem is like you partly read it out loud, so I'm like, well, I guess. Well, I now might I'm as partly well... reading them because you don't want me to read them in full, so I'm just. I, if well, there's... no, I just want you to converse with me. Okay. I, if there was just some interesting lore, then maybe I'll pick up on it. Oh, hey, cave. Yeah, unfortunately, oh. mostly it's just like. What was that thing? The uh, it's a locked thing. We oh, need. Oh, it's a, it's a chest in a way. Yeah. Uh oh, that's no good. Do you need? A... Do you have any fire abilities, or anyone with fire, or or kind of some kind of blast? You have to have a, a blast. Not that I have. Hmm. It looks like uh. Something that we'll have to Whatever get the get hidden later. cave is, it's, it's it's something that we'll have to get later, yeah. I'm also just trying to see if there's any, like, treasure in these upper sections. As I'm fighting stuff, Michelle, you should be on the lookout for, like, secret routes and and special things that I've, I've missed. Okay. Because, like, for example... Oh, no, we can't get through here. That's a wall. Yeah, the, that no, this barrier. Ain't, it, this yeah, ain't a wall. Normally I've, like, walked over those. Oh. Yeah, what? it's just randomly no, I thought that those. Yeah, it's cross. just randomly impassable because you're not supposed to get up there. That's why that's why it's the way it is. Crystals. Seahorse. <laughs> the flying sort of like a dragonfly seahorse. 
trying to see if I can knock it off, but unfortunately, I guess it's a flying enemy, so of course it's not going to fall off the map. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about, yeah, the, the how that was able to attack the... There she is commenting about things. I, I, people can read that if they want to. Okay, All at right. this point. Unless we're like doing something actually really plot important, it really does feel like they're just random things. Well, she was talking about how this should be Funny Mountain. Got but like, that's... Is... No, I, I understand. So, yeah. I... It'd be interesting to see what the state of everything was, especially because... Not, but, like, uh, part of it is especially with the, like, how did that guy uh, attack them on the boat and whatever. Like, that's the kind of thing that we're probably going to learn about way later. Well, but it also begs the question of whether or not... Leah has a real body elsewhere and a mind is controlling it, but it might be in stasis or. Or if she's even a real person. Yeah, or, or if she's just a complete construct. It's, it's interesting. Because, I mean, obviously we've seen a ton of visual similarities between her and that she's a good character at the very beginning. So. I can't get actually- I can't actually get back up. Alright, whatever. Yeah. The problem is, like, that's the sort of thing- I- maybe I don't buy into speculation as much as you do, because- I know, it- at this point, it's too-, too it's early It's too to early tell. to tell. We're going to be spending a lot of time doing other things. We're going to be and, doing all these mini-quests. Yeah, these mini-quests, these actual quests- oh, right. Oh, right, you can jump up these. I- actually totally skipped out on the fact that you can jump up. Uh, I suppose at this stage of the game, I'm just interested in seeing... Uh, are people playing the game aware that they are exploring a real planet? Uh... E or is this gonna be, as other people had suggested, sort of the Ender's Game thing of... They thought they were playing a simulation or a game, when it is That's reality. a little bit more valid. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I um, really think it's almost like they're trying to just use gamers to beta test their research. Not, you don't understand what I mean? Yeah. They're using people in their free time to explore a planet with these intangible undying avatars. Do, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, but at the same time, if you wanted to do that, why not just use the military? Like, give them the intangible, undying avatars and let them do all there of this. There has to be more to it. Because, like, why set up this, like, arbitrary system? Maybe just so that you can get millions of people? And even young people? <gasps> they're sub they're trying to work around child labor laws. By... Hey, I mean, kids and teenagers can play this game. <laughs> I... I mean, I guess, yeah, gamify work? I hate these sequels things. Yeah, that's the thing. If, if you're providing a service for uh, their... Amusement? No, 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 it's not for their amusement. Oh. It's, they're actually conducting research about these alien artifacts, the, the line, whatever they called it. Maybe exploring the map, maybe encountering new creatures. I don't know, you, you understand? What I'm getting at? Yeah, but it still feels like they've got this, like, giant arbitrary system here. Just for... for what, exactly? Oh, look, there's a snowman with a bazooka. In the upper right corner. I'm, I'm aware, I'm trying to solve this puzzle. I don't even know if I can solve this puzzle. Does you might have to know? get the... the ice smashing ability. Or ice melting ability. Alright. Let's see. What's up with this? We like open something up by fighting or I don't know what's over oh, here. There's More a of the snowman. A a snowman? Well, why would it attack us? It hurts too. Ow. And that's the thing, I can't buy that the planet would generate snowmen to fight people. Unless is it some kind of weird AI that materializes things out of nothing. Uh, I mean, probably is that. Because they didn't say it was like a, the, the path. The path created this. 
Mm -hmm. That's what it is, the path, yeah. Or the line that... Yeah, it's something. the path. The path? Okay. It's absolutely the path. So, yeah, the path created some stuff, but it's like, how much of it is a game? How much of it is... I yeah, really it just makes me wonder, is there, was there ever a natural ecosystem? Like, because the path is, it's creating creatures that are part tech, like that goat and the sort of meerkats that are wearing the headphones, among other things. So it's just unconventional. Yeah. And it didn't sound like people knew why... I, oh, this is interesting. I heard you can configure your sensor so you can properly feel the temperature. For whatever reason. So, there are actually some functions that allow you to... ...feel the environmental conditions oh. of the world. Oh! What You're the? almost dead. And yeah, you, so it, it... I... This controller, I think, is dying? What? Uh, it had me... Unless the unless the chill uh, the chill debuff locks you into um, aiming mode only, like I I pretty much couldn't use melee. I couldn't use the shield. The bunny just blasted itself off the cliff. Ow. Uh, but yeah, these guys hurt. Um, but like, if you notice, I just uh, popped up the shield to block the mm -hmm. bazooka shot. It wasn't letting me do that. Oh, okay. Uh, and either it was because of the chill debuff, or more likely it's because this controller is, like, eight years old. Oh no. That's the one I always use. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, technology kind of wears out after a while. Especially if it sees, like, multiple hours of daily use. Mm -hmm. Which, like, this most definitely, definitely is something that's, like, seen a considerable amount of use over the years. Just, we were just looking back and forth, like, well, are you, were you going to say something? No, it's just you're not saying anything to me. Like, you are... That does scare me, though. The whole prospect of virtual reality ever coming to the point where they do try to capture sensation. It's You've been to 4D experiences, right? Where they try to use yeah. smell I hate it. I hate those. air and everything else. I think I've been to a couple... They're awful. I, was, I went to the uh, Bugs Life one. The Bugs Life, I did too. I, I went to the Bugs Life one in and Animal um, Kingdom. And uh, what was it whatever the California based? You went to the California one. I went to the Florida one. Well, remember, I lived in California, so like I I was there on the opening weekend of uh, it's not Disney World. What is it? What's it called? Disneyland. No, it's it's not Disneyland. It's it's a sister park directly next to Disneyland, but it's a separate thing entirely that's effectively... Well, so, at, down in Florida, there's Epcot, Animal Kingdom, mm -mm. and a bunch of... Nope. No? Okay. No. So, Disney World has a bunch of mini parks inside of it. Disneyland has... Oh, California Adventure. That's, that's the stupid park name. It was effectively just Disneyland under, like, a weirdly arbitrary name. And they had a bunch of, like, sort of Disney-y things, but not always. So they just had, like, a bee-themed roller coaster. And some other stuff. Yeah, I just remember it was gross, because in the Bugs Life show, they actually had something involving stink bugs. It was supposed to be educational about different varieties of insects. And they had to did a part with the stink bug, and you could just... You could hear the spray, and suddenly everything stank. It was like a skunk, and some people started coughing and like had to leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? They didn't do that to the one I went to. I think there were probably different shows. Obviously, um, I mean, if I went to the the one at Animal Kingdom. Yep. Okay, so we can't get up there. Uh, the one I went to just poked you in the butt oh, really hard. I. Before they completely liquidated it at the Hilton in Las Vegas, there used to be the Star Trek Museum. So they had so many prop items from 
various seasons of the show. And so I remember my dad was really ecstatic because we got to have pictures of the original props that had been used, especially in the original series. We were especially fond of that. I mean, watching it growing up and all. Good. And so we went, decided to go on some of the rides and one of the rides was sort of like the Borg experience. Uh -oh. Happened again. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, notice how I'm like stuck in aiming mode? Mm -hmm. I don't know why it happens, but yeah, this controller is definitely. Are you sure it would be remedied dying. by changing controllers? Uh it'll get fixed if I if I switch to like the switch controller. But honestly, if I have to do any tech support tonight, I'm just stopping. I'm I'm not in a good mood. Okay. Yeah, so. We went to the Borg experience, and of course, during the Borg experience, everyone is captured by the Borg. And so you're sitting in these seats, and they try to... They try to impress upon you what it would be like to be assimilated by the Borg. And of course, the Borg add mechanical components to your organic body, and I suppose one of the methods is they have, like, the spinal column tap or something. So they had the seats sort of, like, jolt. They, like, poked you in the back. Not with anything sharp, but it was jarring. And I could actually almost imagine people getting slightly bruised by that. Yeah, I was so mad that, uh, you know, they, they actually, like, hurt you a little bit. Mm -hmm. That I just never wanted to go back to ever, one of those ever again. Which I think is fair. Yeah, we went to... We went to uh, one of those 4D shows for Niagara Falls. And the only component of it that was 4D was the inclusion of water sprayers. So that you could feel the mist of Niagara Falls on you. But unfortunately, it probably hadn't been kept up in years, so instead of misting you nicely, it was a squirt. <laughs> I remember I I actually used tissues to plug up the holes that I could see in the railing in front of me so that they would get spritzed and I wouldn't have to have, you know, my hair, my clothes drenched in water. And it worked! After the show was done, I removed the tissues and they were completely soaked and threw them away. And yeah, 